and welcome to our channel Aqua Blue. In today's video we travel to Vermont for some fishing in Lake Champlain. Talk about the elusive Champlain Monster Champ. If you're new here be sure to hit that subscribe button to get notifications when new videos come out. Now let's get to the video. We left Florida and flew to Vermont for the weekend. The plan was to go fishing in Lake Champlain. Lake Champlain is between New York and Vermont and also goes up to Canada. It is over 120 miles long, over 400 feet deep, and is one of the largest lakes in North America. There's a lot of exploring you can do on this lake, but today we stick around the south end of Grand Isle. We drove the boat to Apple Island Marina in South Hero, Vermont. We're doing a special on the menu. Yeah, 1985 Starcraft, fully restored. We are in South Hero at Apple Tree Bay, Apple Island. Most people have heard of the Loch Ness Monster, often referred to as Nessie. But unless you grew up in the Northeast or are knowledgeable about American lake monsters, then you may not have heard of the Lake Champlain Monster Champ. The Lake Champlain Monster Champ, or some call him Champy, is said to be a relative species of Nessie. Legend has it that these plesiosaurs, also historically referred to as sea serpents, were marine reptiles that lived during the age of dinosaurs and roamed the ocean. To further understand this mysterious creature, we need to look at a little history of Lake Champlain. 12,000 years ago, Lake Champlain was an inland saltwater sea connected to the Atlantic Ocean by the St. Lawrence River. After the most recent ice age, glaciers in Vermont were part of what cut off the Champlain Sea from the ocean and became a freshwater lake. A theory is that some of these sea serpents got trapped in the lake when land levels rose. There have been hundreds of sightings documented. The Loch Ness Monster cruising on the surface. Some people think this is an ancient reptile called a plesiosaurus. <laughs> Yeah, this is a, probably a good spot right here. About 20 feet of water here, that's pretty good. Time to get the boat dirty. Oh no. Oh, these aren't night crawlers, that thing's tiny. This is crawlers in the box. Yeah, it's a trout worm. It's water. You don't have to worry about sharks here. Yeah. All right, on the bottom. Just waits, waits for the nibble. See how the birds live in the little. Oh, I got robbed. I thought I felt a nibble, nibble. Oh, you got a nibble, nibble. You got your kibble. You missed it. You're not worried about your rod going in the water? If you get a bite? Me? They, they yeah. don't take your rod away from you? I don't know. Oh, no. There's, there's nothing here that big that's going to eat a worm. Oh, every what, now and then. Every now and the then I'll catch. Monster? I thought the Loch Ness oh, Monster champ. lived in here. Champ's in the big part of the we've caught some. We've got some nice bass here, and I've caught a couple of pike here, too. Oh. And the pike, you know, they can go five, six pounds. That's a pretty good sized fish. So the Loch Ness Monster doesn't come over here? 
It's not Loch Ness, that's Nessie. This oh. is the Lake Champlain monster. His name is Champ. Oh. He's real. He exists. Champ. Champtanamies. It's a pleosaur left over from the <clears throat> when this was the Champlain Sea. The first sighting by a European man was by Samuel de Champlain himself in 1609. But the iconic photo of Champ was done by Sandra Monzi. And as it came out of the water and it got bigger and bigger, like we're talking six feet, maybe eight feet out of the water. <laughs> oh, look at that guy. Yeah, see how he matches the watch? He's got orange fins. He's the same color. Yeah. That oh. is a perch. Oh, wow, that is cool. Hey, buddy. So that's a yellow perch. So can you eat him? Yeah. Oh, they are small? the best eating fish. But he's too little. Yeah, he he's looks really little. pretty small. Oh, you got one. He looks a little bigger. It's a little the same, same one. The same one. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> His little fins are orange. Yeah, they're, yeah. they're pretty fish. That's cool. <laughs> oh, you still got your worm. Yes, I do. And they, they school up. It's neat to see them scuba diving because they'll be in big schools. Yeah. There we go. Here we go. Uh -oh. That's a better one. Oh, look at that guy. Oh, that's a keeper. Yeah. That's, that's, <laughs> okay. That's dinner. Nice. Right, no, it's trying to put water in the bucket. Yeah. Chris so we, has the first keeper of the season? Yeah. Look at that. Mm -hmm. So let me put this on the He's floor. Cute. Oh, throw him right in there. Yep. Yeah. How much you want There's another theory that Champ could be a relative of the extinct whale, Zuglodon, which is a prehistoric whale. And formerly it was known as Zuglodon. The ancient whales appeared 40 million years ago, descended from land animals which took to the sea. They were true early mammals, related to the endangered whales of our own times. It'd be neat to catch a pumpkin seed, so you can see what they look like. That's a fish? Although we caught one keeper, we put him back. Oh, he's scared. Oh, there he goes. He wanted to, he wanted to go home. He wanted to stay, yeah. Got a lot of stuff on it? Yeah. Ooh. Oh, dear. Well, those will just fall off. <laughs> we can have a salad. <laughs> That's good, Chris. It's fine. Kind of skirt the shoreline. Believing in this mysterious creature reflects humanity's fascination with the unknown and our embrace of the mysteries hidden in the world. Sandra Mansi stands by her story that a huge animal emerged from the depths of Lake Champlain. Before the creature disappeared, she took this picture. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Broken it, just put it on. <laughs>